What's up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of How to Build Blank in Minecraft, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build the AEW Steel Cage Match in Minecraft. Um, this is The reason I'm doing this one is because it's different than any other steel cage that I've done before, and it's AEW, so I was like, why not? So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need some black wool. Now, the reason we're going to need the black wool is we're going to have to go through and we're going to have to remove some of these sections of this carpet and we're going to have to fill it back in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around the ring and we're going to remove one row of the wool just like this. So I'm going to skip ahead until I have that part done. All right, and once you have that done, then we're going to go through and we're going to go all the way around the ring and remove this lower section. In a normal arena, get out of your shape. I don't want you. Um, in a normal arena, this is going to be glowstone, um, but since it's on this map, I don't put the glowstone down since it's daylight, um, so you're, I'm just going to break out this gr uh, grass, obviously, but I just wanted people to make sure, you know, because people sometimes don't understand stuff. Anyway, so once we have that done, then we're going to take the black wool and we're going to make this, fill this in all the way around the, uh, the ring, just like this. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that done, now that's going to allow us to place something on top of that. But there's one more step we have to do before we start building the actual cage. We have to go through, so you guys see this corner spot, right? I'm going to put this block here so you can see the corner. You have to go through and remove the wool and the grass These on these three blocks outside of this um, corner block, as you can see. Now the reason that we have to do that is because... The AEW steel cage has the scaffolding that is connected to the cage all the way around. So I'm just going to go through quick and do the same thing here. Just like this. One more here. Alright, now that we have that done, I'm going to get out, or I'm going to go through and clear out all that crap. Then we're only going to need... A couple things right off the bat. We're going to need iron bars. And I'm going to grab some gray stained glass. Um, I'm going to do this one a little bit different because of the scaffolding. So on most steel cages, as you can see, I use iron bars all the way around. And then we have the scaffolding up along the top. But with this one, the way it looks, I actually think it's going to be better if we use glass for the sides instead of the iron bar so um i'm honestly i haven't built this yet while i'm recording this so i'm going to kind of tweak it around a little bit as we're going but it's still going to look awesome so once we've got our iron bars the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go through and build just like this on one row on each end just so we can see where the corners are going to sit just like this and then now we need to go up and build these corner sections up um we want it to be six blocks up from the here so six blocks up higher than where it is right now so I'm gonna go through and build one up quick alright so we've got the first one here it's six blocks tall and then we're gonna go through and I'm gonna build the other three quick so I'm gonna skip ahead until I have all four of them completely done alright now that I have that done when I was going through and looking at each one I realized that I had them six blocks tall here but like I said you want it six blocks tall from the top of the ring apron so I've actually got to go through and do one more on each one so I'm not gonna skip ahead here I'll just stay talking while I do this now the reason that we do it this way is because it's got to be a certain number of feet um, I don't know how tall their steel cage is but I assume it's got to be somewhere around where the WWE's one is and there's they always said was 15 foot I'm not sure exactly but I mean that's 15 foot from the inside that's why these I usually do about ten or uh, five to six blocks tall. So since this one goes all the way to the floor, we're going to go seven. So now that we've got that done, now we're going to take our scaffolding and we're, we have to connect each of these four corners just along the top row. So we've got one connected there. Now what I just did there, we're going to do on the other three sides. So I'm just going to skip ahead until I have that done. And there we go. Now we have that done. This kind of looks cool just without the cage already it looks like you could use this for some other type of match um but yeah so we've got that done now we have to go through and we have to fill in this wall each wall 
with our actual cage, like our fencing. Now, like I said, typically I would use the iron bars, but I think it would make it look super ugly with how this looks, um, especially since it's got the big scaffolding. If it didn't have the big scaffolding, then the regular iron bars would work, but because of that, we're going to use some of this dark gray stained glass instead. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill in one of these sides quick so you guys can see it. And depending on how this goes, I might have to, I'm noticing that these iron bars are connecting a little bit too far over and I don't really like it. So I might actually go through and remove that one row of iron bars um, on each post and fill it in with glass instead. So that's how it looks there. Let's give that a try quick. Let's go through here and we're just going to go through and just bust this inside row and fill it up with iron or with the, the stained glass instead. You're not going to do it along the top, just on that inside row. So we're just going to do it because I'm pretty sure it looks better already. Oh, hands down better. Okay. So we're going to make that another step here. We're going to go through and remove that inside corner, except for the top row, all the way around. Man, for not even building this yet, guys, this is looking good. Almost done. Cool. Okay, so we've got that done. So we've got one wall done. Now we have to go through and build the other walls. So I'm going to go through here and fill in all of these walls quick, and I will be right back over with you. All right, now that we have that done, this is how it's going to look. And might I say, this looks awesome. Considering that I haven't didn't build anything um, to do with this until I actually started building this video. Um, I basically just kind of had an idea in my head. I think it looks awesome. Now we have to go through and make it functional. That's where it's going to look not as good, but it's still going to end up being awesome. Um, so let's go through here quick. We're going to need our stone brick stairs, um, an iron door, We'll just do a stone brick block, and we're going to need a lever right over there. All right, so we're going to build the door the exact same way we've built the door pretty much in every steel cage match ever. It's going to have to change a little bit because we've got the cage that goes all the way along the bottom, but I'm still going to go through and do the exact same thing. So we're going to go to the corner block. We're going to bust out this block bust out that block and bust out the third block and then we're going to bust out one block over just so we can make this functional so we're going to put down our stone brick block our stairs our door and our lever bang bang boom boom get into the you can get into the cage and there you go that is going to be how you build the aew steel cage match in minecraft Honestly, I love the look of this steel cage match. It's so different, but yet still so similar to other steel cages that we've seen in the past. But it's cool because you got the scaffolding here, so there's going to be, at some point, you know, people are going to be able to climb up the steel cage from the outside in some sort of an angle. Um, yeah, I love it. I really, really do. I really like the match. Co watching Cody do a moonsault off the top was friggin' awesome. Um, it took me back to flashbacks with uh, Kurt Angle and Chris, or, uh, Chris Benoit back in the day. But yeah, so like I said, guys, this is going to be how to build it. I think it looks awesome. Definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button down below. You have no idea how much it helps me out. If you guys want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content, guys, make sure you head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me are going to get to see. And you can also take a look at my online store. That link is also going to be in the description. Get yourself some awesome Midi Bean 75 merchandise for a great price. If you want to follow me on social media, the links are down in the description. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, wherever you want to message me, I'm as long as it's a relevant conversation, I'll message you back. I have people who message me on Xbox. If you message me on Xbox, I'm probably not going to respond, depending on what the message is. Um, and if you email me, like I said, same thing. Depending on what the message is, I will respond. Um, 
it just has to be pertinent conversation. If it's not, you know, if it's not good conversation, then I'm probably not going to answer it. And that's nothing against you guys. I have a lot going on in my life and I can only respond to what I, you know, what is relevant to me and what's going to be the best to respond to. Um, but with that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.